here we have some cassava we have some ground meat some green mangoes garlic onion and weary weary peppers could anybody guess what we're going to make today Jay please tell them <laughs> about this special that you're going to make well 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 my guys today well tonight I should say because it's already this e is evening I'm going to be making some mince ball with cassava guys mm -hmm. so this is something um, let that me we tell done. you Jackie yeah, you make a really really nice mince ball yes so we went to the market and we got some nice green mangoes, these little baby green mangoes. So he's like, what? Time for throw down with some egg balls in this kitchen today, guys. Not egg balls, mince balls. Mince balls. The sour mince ball. But um, the green mango is for the sour. Mm -hmm. Must make a nice sour also. I don't like the, the cucumber sour. Yeah, cucumber sour. Mm -hmm. I like the green mango sour. But I'm thinking too, if we got enough cassava, we could add two eggs and get two egg balls. egg balls. Because I love egg balls. But you know you might put yourself in some trouble. Hmm. Because when the kids see this, they're going to say, what? <laughs> you spend the weekend in Jersey and you wait until you get back home to make this? Why oh. didn't you make it in Jersey? I know, right? Yeah, they're so. going to be warm, mom. You treat us bad. They're going to be prepping <laughs> our cassava. Getting this going, guys. Yeah, so we're gonna prep this. You're gonna see some action, guys. Mm -hmm. All right. So everything is peeled and prepped. Yeah. She is gonna boil the mangoes the for green, the sour. The green mangoes to make some nice sour. And some nice garlic and. Trusted weary, weary <laughs> peppers. Yeah. So we got the meat, tomato paste, garlic, onions, and stallions. Yeah, so that's the sow is gonna start. And now I'm gonna start, I have to um, put the cassava on to start boiling. Okay, and what Jackie did too, she made, she boiled some eggs so that she could make a so couple of egg balls. Yeah, because mom don't eat beef, so she get egg balls. Instead of mince ball. Yes, yeah, so. Cassava is one of my favorite provisions. Yeah. I love the cassava boy. I will boil cassava and put some butter in it and just walk that alone. Mm. Oh, I like cassava. Really. It tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. so. He said, one of my friends at work about cassava, he said, I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I said, You know, was you call here? Yeah. So <laughs> the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Give some water. So we're going to put this on to boil now. Okay, well, I have my cassava here in salted water, and there's my mangoes going in the back. So, I'm gonna add some oil to my pan and start the process of cooking the mince, the brown meat. So, I'm gonna let this heat up. You don't want too much oil, just a little bit. Because, you know, some ground meat does have a lot of oil in them. But we did buy that 93% lean. Yeah, but so. still it does have a little, so. Well, that means it's 7% fat. Yeah. And you know what, though? The fat is what makes the meat taste good. All right, next time we buy 93% fat. <laughs> no, we don't want all the fat again. But the fat is what makes the meat tasty. So you need a little fat on it. Oh, 
lite av uh, vi får ta en väldigt light här tycker jag. Salt, pepper, onion and garlic. We got peppers in here. And um, remember the last pepper sauce that I made, the video I made is making some pepper sauce with some mixed hot peppers. Yeah. That actually came out really nice, you know. Mm -hmm. I like that pepper. Well, I like that now. If you have salt, you use that. You eat it on the same egg ball or almond ball. Yeah. Wow. That pepper sauce came out nice. That's the tip. So we know that when we get our trusted we roo, mm. we could always make do with some of the tip first from here. Yeah. I remember time I I think it's in right here in Maryland we went to a um a farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy with all variety of peppers that he said he you know, he planted them himself. He, yeah, I think they have um <laughs> Farm that they do all the different peppers. I think it's rich hops they call them. The, um, right? Yeah, we did get some nice pepper from that guy. Oh, yes. Some really nice pepper. I'm gonna add my, no. I'm gonna add my tomato paste since I like that to fry in a little bit first and take out that metallic taste from the um, can. I'll be chatting away and forgetting what brothers normally do. So that's about two tablespoons or a little over. Mm -hmm. And that's equivalent to how much tomatoes? How <laughs> <laughs> you work on the map? <laughs> Guys, remember, I remember back in the day when we used to live in Guyana. <coughs> this is something I used to make every day. Yeah. I used to supply. That same guy you saw in the video with his um, supermarket, James and Sons. His supermarket was in Silverton at the time. I will make mint swirl, egg ball, mince ball, Solara, a whole lot of stuff and supply him daily. And he had enough hands to sell it out. Yeah, that was. I can remember if people go for it and it, it didn't reach the, the, the store as yet, they would come to the house. Yeah, look at You finish that? The kids take to school, yes. or for the breakfast in the morning, or lunch, whatever. People used to really enjoy it. Yeah. So this brings me right back to that. Mm. Mm. It was something I enjoyed doing. I always love cooking. I always love eating. Add <laughs> <laughs> this going. We're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. That brings out a nice flavor in the ground meat. If you don't have this black pepper, to me, don't it? That's good. Some of that. Gonna do a little salt. A lot of white. Our mango is bubbling away there, steaming away there. 
And I think the cassava is about to start boiling too. Alright guys, see? This has been cooked nicely. I did taste it for salt and you know black pepper and chicken bouillon. Added a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. So now I'm gonna turn this off to just cook. And my trick is I always add like a tablespoon or a little more like a teaspoon of butter and let this just melt in in the end here and that gives it a nice little taste so I just melt that in and that's butter that's not margarine right yeah butter The rest of my scallions on top. Hello. And then the flavors infuse. Because remember, our ground meat is still hot. So, this is it. I'm gonna let this cool down. And this is the filling for the mince ball, guys. Or you could drop, some, drop it in some chow mein. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chow mein. In some chow mein. you could add the sauce there to make a bolognese sauce for pasta. Oh, yeah, anything you want to do with pasta or just a, or, or evangelist, too. All two, okay. So, the priest, the pasta, everybody. So, that's that. That's the mince. This how we how green mango come in there by? This looks good. I like it to go all the way down. So this is cooked too nicely. This is going to start crushing now. I'm going to take this off. And start smooshing this, this down. So all the garlic and everything is, is soft, right? Yeah, see it's crushing, everything crushing nice. Mm -hmm. Then, I did add salt to this when I was um, steaming it down, cooking it down. So now, I'm gonna add some oil and some jeera or cumin as we just say and put this back on the heat and it get a little oh you fry it a little bit let fry and then you add a little water and you get it as thin as you like okay and you gotta wake up the flavor of the jeera with the oil and stuff you think everybody put um Garlic in there? I don't know. Everybody's <laughs> super. Yes. For some reason, I like this one. They just make more than a lot. That you know. Mm. You just get. Yeah. I mean, everybody's cook different. So. And as I said before, I I like the the green mango sour, not the cucumber. cucumber. Mm. So. Even if you get a little smidge of garlic that's not crushed properly, that's fine. No big deal. Yeah, I like a garlic taste. And this is the, the um this is not garlic, this is the middle of the mango. From See? The seed. Yeah, from the seed. So now you add some oil. Not too much again. That's the fried. Yeah. gonna put this back on I gotta get my um, cumin and drop some in here all right so I'm gonna drop some cumin in there there's a grub one yeah 
And this is going to start frying in a minute there. Once it's heat up back nicely. Oh, you smell that cumin? What should we call zero? Let me taste this. Mmm, the mango nice and tart. Yes. Starting to fry on the pan there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the cumin will wake up there nicely now with the oil in the pan. Yeah, it smells nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Nice and sour. Hot. It's not too spicy. Uh, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. I don't want it over, over no. spicy anyway. Yeah. Are oh, you tasting the, 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 the pepper? And the nice little cumin flavor coming through. Mmm. You know this all make me remember? Yeah. When we went home, back home in, in, in for the Christmas. Mm -hmm. And my partner Rick Paul Morris, a big nut man, make some black pudding oh, there for yes. us, boy. Black pudding and white pudding. Mm -hmm. Some nice sour. Yes. That was good boy. Mm -hmm. Smell that. Smells so good guys. Mm. So it's bubbling there? Yes, bubbling. So now that we wake up the cumin and everything. As you know, the cumin been sleeping a little bit, hibernating is winter. I'm gonna drop some water now. Turn it out. Liquidize it a little bit. Yeah. I feel like some people just make it too liquid again. Yeah, you see why why they do that, I think, because they want to put it in a bottle that you can squeeze it out. Or to stretch it a little bit. Yeah. And make it go a little goes a long all way. All. When you put it in a squeezy bottle now, it must be thin enough to you know run out when you squeeze mm -hmm. it. I don't like it too thin that it running off when you put it on yeah. this stuff. It's all on nice one there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good. You know, the only thing with this is because it got an island when the mango start, it start. Hit start, hit it, start jumping. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, warning. Mm -hmm. Jump in your face. Mm, that's good. This is a nice consistency. It bubbled there for two minutes, a second there, and then let me see what we can have a looking like. Bubbling away. Yeah, it's bubbling away there. Mm -hmm, they're gonna be ready soon because you can't let it overboil either. This is good. As we're looking for. Mm -hmm, yes. Alright. Let me turn this off. And the saw is ready. Alright, there we got it. 
Alright guys, it looks like our cassava. Let me give it a test. It looks like it's yep. Mm, very nice boy. Ready. So we gotta crush this up. Mm -hmm. You want me to help you crush that so you can yeah. get it, blend the season to mix with it? Yeah, we're gonna crush this and I usually blend my garlic. I put a lot of garlic in it. Peppers, well the sour was a little spicy. So I don't want to add too much um, pepper to the I think this should work. Three peppers? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. One head of shallot. Just gonna add a little bit of water, blend this, and this is why I just add it into the cassava mixture. Alright, so, so we're gonna just crush that up there. Crush these before we get soup. <laughs> While I do that. Alright. <clears throat> Go ahead. Just gonna add a little bit of water, not too much. Get this going. So teamwork makes the dream work, right guys? After having a fun weekend in New Jersey with the kids, we came home to the kitchen. Oh yeah. You know the kids are gonna say, but mom, why did you go home and cook all the? Why didn't you cook it by us? That's a problem right there. You here, <laughs> here we are. They're gonna say, see stuff doing, but we ain't getting nothing. Oh me, guys, I'm in trouble. Big, big trouble. Oh man. Next time we go, I gotta mix stuff for them. This is what it looks like. See this? Fire in this bottle, in this jar here. Man, it's gonna be good. Let's lower the heat on this. Smoking. Smoking there, man. Coming out nicely. Mm -hmm. I was hoping we get nice cassava, and we did get nice cassava. Yeah, you don't always get nice cassava, man. Unless we go in the backyard and pull too. Well, that's the thing of it. Got far from going in the backyard. <laughs> Remember the days of getting up at four o'clock every morning to make all this stuff. And the rush to get it out to the house early. All right, our cassava is well mashed here. I'm gonna add some nice black pepper, some greens. Ch seasoning chopped. 
Ooh, the black pepper makes me want to sneeze when I smell it. And this is my blend up garlic and pepper with one scallion in it. So what I just do, I get in there with clean hands and give it a nice mix. So while we was crushing this, you pull out any hard lumps, the string in the middle, anything you discard. And while I'm mashing it like this, I usually try to feel any lumps and stuff and take them out. So this is hot guys, so you know, give it a little mash quick time there. And that helps it to... Um softens more too. Mm -hmm. Give it a nice smooth texture. Mm -hmm. and you just mix this nicely, get everything incorporated. Oh, look at the steam. See that? Yeah, okay, you gotta be mm -hmm. careful for your really pour on your hands though. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's something. Like how are we doing this with cassava? Mm -hmm. You think you could do it with plantains? I think, yeah, you can make plantain balls because you make fufu now. Right? Yeah, well, mm. like fufu, right? But you put the same milk yes, inside. Yes, you could. Once you crush it nice, so you get out all these nice strings and stuff. Once you season your um, plantain nice and you make it into a nice paste like this, mm -hmm. you could do, stuff it with anything. Or, or fry it just like that in a ball, right? Like, yeah. like fufu. Make nice plantain balls. Mm -hmm. You could do potato. Yeah, they, they do the potato egg balls. Too. I prefer my plant, my cassava. Yep. So you just get this mixed nicely. It's been years since I do this. See how my hands are getting red because it's hot. <laughs> But when it's still hot, it's the best time to get in here because as it gets cold, it stiffen up. So some of our cassava didn't boil too nice, but we got to get out wherever. Far more soft. Yeah, you can't get it over soft. Okay. I know some people, if it's um, too soft, they just add a little bit of flour in the mixture. Oh. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. Oh, nice. Yeah. See how this is nice. But if you get really nice cassava, it's be so smooth. The next time we're doing it, yeah, I go around and we'll quick for someone come back. <laughs> they don't guarantee that, that you'll get a nice good. one. <laughs> so just take out a little lumps. Alright, this mix nicely in. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do now? The next step is to get a nice size and form it off. You pop an egg. This is for egg ball. And you run it off nicely. For the, mm -hmm. the mince ball, I usually make them smaller. You know, we making this, you know what I remember? Mm. When we went back home uh, in a meter's ward by my friend, Junior, Triple C snuck it. Yes. And he made some, same balls with um, salt fish. That was delicious, Man. I tell you. 
That was so good. So you fill your ground meat in this. It don't take a lot. And then you bring it together. And this is more like a, um, looks like a fish cake style. Mm -hmm. I flatten it a little. Yeah, Junior, when you see this video, hail up my friend. Big shout out to you. We enjoy the stuff and you're snacking, bro. Got a lump on the side here in this cassava. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish making these off. If you want a plain cassava ball, you just wrung it off. You don't gotta put no I'll fry food. that. I, I like it like and that too. Fry it. Mm -hmm, I like I that. I usually make those a little smaller. But we have a lot of fill in here. So I don't know how much of it we're gonna get. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish this up. And start and the frying process. Start the frying. Alright. Alright. I finished doing these off. My oil is nice and hot. So I'm gonna start my frying. So what do you got here? Egg butter, right? This is just an egg um, wash. Egg wash. Yeah, just keep the egg with a little bit of water in it. Not a lot of water, just a little bit to thin it out. Mm -hmm. I use this to coat it. And it gives it that nice outer roundness. Nice texture. So I'm doing the eggs and the cassava ball. Or puff as we just call it. We used yeah. to call it when we oh. were little. First. So that. That way. Mom can enjoy this. Because she don't eat beef. So. You don't want to put beef in the oil first. And these fries up quickly. Because everything already cooked. Mm -hmm. Everything is cooked, it's just a... Uh, Brown them nicely you now. Sliding around the pan, because the pan so smooth. So, okay, Jay. Mm. Back home, especially in in town, mm -hmm. or on, on like the East Coast and those places, there, if you stop at a place to buy, mm. there will have a, a yellowish look to it. Yeah, because some people put um, a little bit of turmeric or food coloring. To give it that yellow color. To give color. it that yellow color. Or okay. curry. Some people even do a little bit of curry powder. But I just before it just straight yeah. up with it's your you know your preference however mm -hmm. you like it. Okay. Why well, I could just taste this already watching now with some cane juice. <laughs> you know on the east band? Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell me you get that I nice? I could do some cane juice now. Nice cane juice with a nice Egg ball or, or puri or puri. Uh, puri what a place fish cake. M and M snack. M and M snack. It. It. It's near by the Harbour Bridge, mm -hmm. right? Right by the. Stop there when we going down. Or coming up. Or coming up and get some nice Guyanese street food, as they say, the delicacies. I, I like to see business grow like that, though. Yes. These, those people start with a little. A little snack it outside mm -hmm. uh, on the road corner. Now they have a monster building there. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. See, businesses developing in Guyana, there's a beautiful thing. I, li I like to see people move up yes. like that. Yeah. That's, that's so good to see how they grow. And now when we go in, they have it like a restaurant. They yeah. have chairs and tables. 
And a whole lot of more food. Well, yeah, all kind of food now. Mm -hmm. right? And if you look at the back, people like they're cooking non-stop at the back there, man. Mm -hmm. I could remember a place down it on I think it's Ivory. I can't remember directly is where, but a place named Shanta's. Oh yeah. We make the best puri. Oh my god. Back in the day, I used to always got to go in there and get some puri boys. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nothing like some good eats. Mm -hmm. Some people just flower the outside. And um, then and fry, fry it. Okay. But the, the only thing with using the egg is that it makes the oil froth a little bit, see? Oh. But I don't mind though, because it gives it this nice texture on the outside. So, I should, normally when I'm frying this, I would do it in the karahi. Okay. Because it's deep and it immerses the whole thing. Mm. But because I'm doing the mince ball, which is flatter on the mince ones. I like a shallower pan for the. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you see how these get a, ni a nice color on them. And look, some of the cassava start melting, see? Melting and coming out there. I had tested one before. Make sure my oil is nice and hot. So let me I like all the sides to um, get the color on them. Um, we, we we talking about those places back home uh, like San Thursday. Mm. I remember there was a place down town I kinda of weird now though but they had some really good fried shark. Yeah. What? I remember that I had a lady, Miss Olive. Olive used to sell black pudding and fried shark by Jimmy. Mm. Found by Jimmy. It I was remember. Every Friday or Saturday. Man, that was so good. I remember when I was pregnant with um, Vanessa, you would go buy the fried shark and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. But. I never re I really I love her fry shark. I love and that she loves fry shark. I love that thing. Vanessa loves fry shark no and I, I don't never really like it. When that lady come out, that used to be the first thing that she does be sold out. Mm. That be sold out in a jiffy. Mm-hmm. melting off the sides, see? Mm, these look so good. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. Yeah. So we got some nice, delicious egg ball and cassava ball here. Cassava puff. Cassava puff. <laughs> and this is not, um, Look, see? Yeah. Something nice. Nice and airy. Don't need another cassava. There's a trick in the trade. Just that nice texture. Nice airy. So now we're gonna do our mince balls. Mince cakes, this more look like, no? Because they make them in a ball. So this way you could differentiate. Which is which? Which is which. So if you don't eat beef, you could do chicken. Or salt fish. Or, you know, like, like, like my partner Junior put some salt fish in it there. Mm-hmm. So do drum chicken, drum turkey, whatever is your preference. Okay, I'm thinking 
What about if you're a vegetarian? And you you, want to you do um, chunks. Oh, chunks. Yeah, I used, remember I used to make the vegetable ones, the vegetarian ones oh, with the yes, chunks. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. No, you talk that I remember. Yeah, yeah. the mince chunks, the gum chunks. Mm. I used to do some of that for the vegetarians. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy yeah. used to eat that yeah, because Jimmy was a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I would um, do the chunks, season it up nicely, and make it the same way. Mm -hmm. And then you put it in the middle there and you cook it. I make that and I make um, the chunks with the um, mint swirl. Mint swirl, yeah. Yeah. See, make a nice vegetarian. Well, that, that, I mean, it's for you, it tastes nice too, man. Yeah. Oh, the kids love that. And I make mint swirl. They just enjoy that. Let me try a fluffy. I can already see on the side it gets an um, color. See that? Mm -hmm. And this is um, sunflower oil. I just fill it in the vegetable oil bottle. You put in that bottle. Mm -hmm. Sunflower oil. So this is a better oil. You like this oil? I like this. Okay. So it's sunflower oil. Mm. Canola oil, your vegetable oil, any oil that you use to be frying. And this now with that nice sour or some pepper sauce on top. Some people, it depends on the sour. The sour you made is, is kind of spicy. Mm -hmm. but like if you have a sour that's not spicy, you might want to add some pepper, pepper sauce. Pepper, yeah. yeah. I think for me that is spicy enough. Okay. Because yeah, I taste it and it's a little spicy, so that's gonna work. Yeah. Man, I can't this to, to to work tomorrow for lunch boy. <laughs> so, yeah. This is gonna be lunch tomorrow. You don't know. Because we finish cooking late, you know, traveling and coming home and doing all this. It takes its timely. It is, it is. So we already had a nice dinner anyway, so this is good. And get a nice color on them and then that's it. So we're going to finish fry this batch. This this one is already almost finished if you want to see. It don't take long to fry. That's what our finished product look like. See that? Nice. Nice and airy and light. So I'm going to finish frying up the second batch. Then my favorite part. Tasting? Oh yes. You mm -hmm. know. Yep. You're gonna enjoy that. All right, I finished frying and look how good these looks, guys. Mmm. That's the thing, boy. That is the thing, bro. I'm gonna try one of the puff. Yes, I'm gonna try puff. I'm not hungry because we had dinner ready, but I can't. I can't resist, resist it. it. Oh, this mm. is the puff. Mm -hmm. Drop some nice sour on it there. Yeah. Let yep. me tell you, the sour plays an important part, you know, man. Mm -hmm. Some people just add a little bit of sugar to the, um, to the sour? sour if it's too tart for them. Okay. But we like it nice and tart. Cheers. Cheers. 
What was that? Wow. This is the real deal, boy. So soft. Mm -hmm. Fluffy, boy. That's why they call it puff, because it puff. Puff, puff. <laughs> it's so good, man. And it's, it's got, nice. um, you're tasting the garlic and mm -hmm. stuff. Tasting the garlic and the seasoning. Mm -hmm. I like a lot sour. of garlic in the um, mixture. Yeah. So. All that's missing here is the cane juice. Oh. <laughs> a nice cane yeah. juice. This is good, boy. I mm. like this. All right. So, guys, thanks for being with us. And I'm sorry you can't get the taste this, but trust me, it's the real thing. It's the real thing this. Oh boy, Brian and Jain feel mm -hmm. you guys and him. So it's too late for me to eat now. I'm too full. So tomorrow I'm gonna enjoy mine. Definitely. And remember, subscribe, like, share, keep those comments going. Yeah, we're enjoying the comments. Preach your boss. Bye. You would have loved this. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys. Lorna, Mandy, I can send to your way, girl. Denise, I know you would want one of this, and Sandra. Shane, Dwayne, and Vanessa, Vanessa, and Avery. Avery. Sorry, guys. But Sandy. San oh, Sandy, Sandy and Kate. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but next we, time. Yeah, when we come there again, we're going to make a batch. Yes. So, until next time, guys, peace and love is the message. All the time. Take care.